Hey guys, welcome back to Truth Be Told Transformations. First of all, I want to show some gratitude to you guys for being here viewing my videos, liking, commenting. That really does help get them out to the ones who need to see them. Get your energy in my readings as well. If you would, there was any type of reading you would like to see or you would need guidance, please comment. feel free to comment below and I will do a reading for you, okay? For free. Um, it will be posted publicly, but you'll know it's for you, okay? Um, so I asked Spirit what they wanted to talk about further. I just did a full, the full pink moon reading. You might want to check that out. It's really a lot. I did pull verses for those of you that like the verses. Love never fails. First Corinthians, which is actually my favorite verse. Um, chapter 13, verse 8. And sing to the Lord all the earth. Okay. I feel like you need to get out and ground. I feel like you need to find your, some of you need to find your voice again. Like maybe you used to sing and you haven't sung for a long time. Maybe it's something you used to enjoy. Maybe you did this as a child. Um, as well as birds. Birds are messengers and they're very significant at this time, okay? And you, of course, however that resonates with you. We're prayed up as always. Let's clear the energy. Let me go ahead and hit my gate before we get started. I have pre-pulled some cards, okay? Our um, mandalas, we have abundance, peace, and courage to uh, start this reading as an overall energy, okay? Abundance, affirmation you can use is, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality for peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy and for courage, I find the inner strength to face the earth with confidence. So what I'm feeling here is, just intuitively with these three cards is you're working on abundance, releasing lack mindset, learning how to build abundance, saving money, um, how to call in abundance. You are learning to be more at peace beside, despite what anyone thinks of you, what anyone said of you, beside, despite your past, what you've been through, you're learning, you've had the courage to heal, you're gaining inner strength and facing fears with confidence, okay? Now, I did pull these um, oracles here. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing in the story, okay? And I have my little stone to help me channel. So, daydream. Someone, you or someone, I feel like this has to do with someone else, to be honest with you, and I'll explain this in a minute, has been daydreaming. Wondering. You're constantly on their mind. They're wondering how they can cause conflict in your life. How they can steal your gifts or trick you into thinking they're going to give you a gift. They're stuck in spiritual jail. Some of them may be going to actual jail or prison because ju your justice is being served, okay? These are people who have played you, done you wrong, talked about you. They want to cause harm or try to bring a downfall to your profession to bring you down to make you look like you were not um, professional, you know? In whatever it is that you do or maybe you have a platform or whatever. They try to bring curses upon you, but actually they curse themselves, okay? Some of them are doing black magic, speaking ill upon your name. They wanted to harvest your energy. They are also wondering how it is you look so abundant. Some of you are able to save money and things. Some of you, ha you've had commitments with these people in past lives or currently, or in this life. They wanted to bind you to them, to their contract. Some of them because they still love you. Some of them it's because they wanted to cause obstruction in your life. Okay. Um, but actually they just caused it upon themselves because you are highly protected. Spirit is speak, calling for you to speak out against this and speak your story, tell your truth. Even if this happened in your childhood or whenever, it, 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 it will be healing for you. It will also help others. You may um, actually gain, join other people and call a protest. Stand up against this because there are so many people that have been subjected to the things that you've been through and... You know, maybe you weren't able to get your justice then, but you can get justice now by helping these others as well as it will help be healing for you is what I'm feeling here. They want you to feel inadequate. You may be able to sue these people for defamation of character. They may be trying to turn it on you, but it will not work out in their favor. They wanted you alienated among your friends, family, peers, online. They're wondering how you got all this luck. If you feel like you're not lucky, your luck period's about to begin. They're pissed off because you're unbothered. 
you're not showing them that you're bothered at all. They're offend they're offended by everything you do. And here you are, going within. Spirit wants you to stay relaxed, go within. If this hasn't happened, this could be something that's coming into your energy by someone who sees you as an opposition, okay? Your peace, your tranquil spirit saying, take it easy, rest and relax. You're rebuilding, you're calling your energy back from these people, okay? Um, return to sender and transmuting these energies. They want to form an alliance with you because nothing has worked. They want to, therefore, tap into your gifts, tap into your abundance, or whatever it is you've got going on. Don't let them, okay? They haven't changed. No matter, so however that fits for you, okay? I pulled some of my BuzzFeed cards here. We have crazy patterns. So these people are showing crazy patterns. Some of them are actually losing their mind because they wanted you to look crazy, okay? It's almost like they're a puppet because a spirit or entity, demon, demonic entity is controlling them, okay? They are binded to the devil, so to speak. You have Peach. They want you to agree, which means Sandy, joyful, and agreeable. One, some of you, for if this is like an ex love, they are attracted to you heavily. They wonder how you're still so joyful. They want you to be agreeable and agree to whatever they want for you. You're getting a new and you're being enlivened with a pineapple. You're getting a new energizing energy. You're being refreshed. If that you haven't been, this is energy that's coming to you soon. They're very sentimental. They're looking back through memories. You may be going through old memories and looking how much you've changed, how things have changed, how thankful you are for now that you see the bless and the the bless and the mess, you know, the blessing and the lesson. You're not learning that it's happening to you, or for you, not to you. But there's a lot of nostalgia, okay? The chameleon is here. You're very flexible. You're resourceful. You're versatile. You're able to shapeshift in a good way. They shapeshift in bad ways for their gain. You're able to shapeshift and fit in anywhere you, you need to be. And see, this chameleon's tongue is grabbing a bee. They're about to get stung for talking shit and spreading gossip, lies, manipulation, and rumors. Yep, right here. I haven't looked at these. Passing notes. So they are been gossiping about you, spreading rumors, and scandals. Saying like you're a scandalous person. Uh, their scandal's about to be found out. This could be due family, friends, workers, your platform. Some of you may have been hacked by this person or these people. Spirit says their black magic has been returned to sender and it will not. They're about to reap what they have sown is what I'm hearing. Okay. They can't under they cannot for the life of them figure out why you seem so peaceful, unbothered, and you seem so abundant and courageous. You weren't maybe you weren't always this way. They, I feel like these people or this person knows your triggers. Maybe they know you've been through abuse of um, many different forms throughout your whole entire life. You could have confided in them. They're trying to project this and use this against you. They're very narcissistic. I'm just going to be honest with you here. Let's get some yin-yang oracles out here before we pull some tarot on this, okay? Spirit, can I get some yin-yang oracles on this? Um for this collective reading about abundance, peace, courage. About my brave, amazing collective who are learning to rise above everything that's stacked against them. Oh, yeah. They're trying to use control tactics to control you. Saying, hey, can we start over with a fresh new love or a fresh new start? could be family, friend, lover, put it where it resonates, co-worker, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Oh no, they're lying, because the Ace of Air, which is the truth card, is in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. They're going to be found out soon that they are using these control tactics, that they are a liar, 
their family and friends are falling away from them is the energy that I'm feeling here. They don't feel guilty for trying to sabotage you, but it, it, their tactics are not going to work, okay? They're very closed off, very guarded, very resistant to change, to healing. What else do you get? You are very, you know, they're trying to make you vulnerable. You are guarded because you don't want ever want to be hurt like you have been by people in your life, right? Before you were started your healing journey. The sun is here. You're being strengthened and empowered by source, spirit, God, the universe, right? You're learning how to stand in your power, how to find inner strength even when you felt like it wasn't there. Spirit is gifting you with abundance, spiritual gifts. You're going to soon be celebrating, upgrading gifts, abundance, and you're in your north node, okay? You're living in your cosmic purpose. If you aren't quite yet, you soon will be. You're taking steps to get to this. You're foraging forward. You're forming a structured, solid foundation that cannot, just like the rock, the water may, may, you know, change its shape just a little bit, but the rock is not disintegrated. The rock stands firm, right? Kind of like concrete. It gets harder with time. It's like it get, you, you're hard, It gets harder to bother you or to get you out of character in time, right? They're stuck in their ego. They're very vain, full, prideful, arrogant. This person or these people is, are soon going to face an unexpected storm. This is a cycle completion. And because you've given, the, given this to spirit, released your attachment to the outcome, their storm is about to hit them all while you're being uplifted exalted and upgraded they are going to be forced to see that they were projecting and to face their own reflection your ancestors are very proud source god the universe is very proud of you you've made the right decision they're faced with a decision will they change or will they not are they going Spirit's going to put them in a position to either going to, Spirit's going to apply pressure until they change, adapt, change, heal. They cannot avoid this. Okay? This is avoidance and stalemates in the reverse. They cannot avoid this change, this karma. How dare they do this to someone who is a light worker, someone who is a good person? How dare they try to disrupt your home, your commitments, and your family? It may have worked for a second or seemed like it was going to work. But the people who have fallen away out of your life were the people who were not meant to be here on this new journey with you. Their illusions, their pink colored glasses, they're about, you know, they wanted you to wear the pink colored glasses. The illusions are not working. They're very confused. Karma, balance, justice is here. You've discovered your self-worth. You expect people to treat you as you treat them. Divine intervened, okay? Divine's intervening. They're tired because they gave this person chance after chance after chance after chance or these people to change. Their divine is saying, okay, you don't want to change on your own? We're going to come in and give a detour to this person who has lived in their integrity and in their grace. And done the inner child healing. Done the work. They are being rewarded. All while this person is clinging. With the depths of their soul to their south node. They're about to get out of being moved out of their comfort zone. That's what I'm hearing. Anything else spirit before we move further? Anything else? This person's very angry. Yes, they do have an entity attachment. Some of them demonic detachment. However, they were aware of what was going on and they signed the contract. They said yes. 
don't feel bad for them. Your wishes are about to come in. They're longing for you all while you're separated, longing to get in your energy. They say, they're so cold and detached. What happened? Really, you're not. You just know what you deserve and what you don't. Don't feel bad for this person when they get their karma and spirit saying, okay, the lesson. They're partying, drugs, drinking, living in the 3D world, and lying, not expressing their truth. All while you're telling your truth, speaking your truth, they wanted to shut you up. Touch not my anointed, is what I just heard Spirit say. How can this collective move further, Spirit? Guidance for this collective. Further guidance for this collective, Spirit. To a fire. They want spirit wants you to progress further. Pull keep planning. Partner up with others. Join other light workers. Work together. Oh, goodness. Hold on just a second. The lovers is here. Hold on. I feel self-love, but I also feel some of you maybe getting in a partnership if you're single and you're manifesting this love. Spirit wants you to keep manifesting the things that you want in your reality. Stay your empower yourself. Be prepared for any outcome, any obstacle. A lot of you are making a choice to heal your emotions and you'll be getting in a new relationship. You're manifesting this divine partner. You're equal yo someone who's equally yoked to you. You have many choices with the seven of water here. Don't procrastinate, don't overanalyze. Listen, go within, listen, ask spirit for guidance. Balance is here with the two of earth. Spirit says, make your priorities known. Your priorities, if you have children or your children, and now self, you know that that's not selfish. And your money, how to make your money, your abundance to bring your flow in, right? Spirit wants you to find that inner child and let it out. Your inner child wants, wants to play. There's, um... So, yeah, Six of Water, tap back into your childhood memories. Some of you, they're not always the best, right? But find what the good ones, like when you used to blow dandelions into the wind, finding feathers, things like that. Play with children. It's really going to help you heal, continue to heal, okay? Spirit's saying it's a night of earth to get organized. You're very responsible, and you're very supportive to others, and therefore you are being supported by Spirit. night of fire you're a very inspirational person you have a lot of charisma you're very innovative you move past uh what seem to be blocks with ease you're learning how to alchemize how to transmute and transcend past obstacles sometimes you do get in your head a lot of times and you might have nightmares or um, be stressed out be sleep, have sleepless nights and be worried negativity that's because others are projecting this onto you and sending it to you your worry is unnecessary others want to bring you conflict because they see they feel they want to attach to you there's a lot of competition they see you as competition instead of seeing we can all have a piece of the pie therefore your justice is here this is going to be fair. The law, karma, the universal laws, spirit saying, whatever was hidden is coming to light with the moon. Your intuition was on point. You saw past their illusion. You had the revelation. Those of you, some of you, it took you a minute. You balanced your light and your dark, your masculine and your feminine, and therefore you will have wish fulfillment. Your wishes, dreams, and hopes and happiness is here. King of Earth, a lot of you are praying for abundance, money, uh, to have the best business or to move on top of your company or what it, your talents to be seen. It's your time to be prosperous because you will give back to others that are less fortunate. Therefore, you are going to be successful. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? 
The sun is here, the happiest card in the deck. Success, recognize. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be very successful. Keep your enthusiasm strong for this. Know that it is coming. Know that it is yours. Know that you deserve this. And that's where spirit wants me to stop with that. Let me know if you like this way of me reading. I know it's a little different. Let's get some tea leaf oracles out here to see what you have coming in. Okay. Spirit, I've already pre-shuffled these. Spirit, what is coming in for this collective with abundance, peace, and courage? Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Bird flying, we have news on the way. I feel like it's going to be good news. Door is here. Opportunities are waiting for you. They're knocking on your door. Trust and believe in yourself. You have what it takes to succeed is what I'm hearing. Peacock. Beware of great pride, though. You know. Coins, money will be coming for you. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. So speak your truth. Don't hide anything. Okay? This person, somebody wants to spill all your secrets. So, therefore, don't have any. Speak your truth. Vote. Money or property through inheritance, winning, or windfall. What else, spirit? Angel is here. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm, fire, strong emotion, passionate, love, or hate. This person does have a lot of passionate. It's a love-hate thing for some of them, I'm hearing. They love you, but they hate you. Something about the month of May. Some of these things will come to pass. Cheer filled, someone new is entering your life in the month of May. I feel like this is going to be a passionate love, to be honest with you, for some of you that are single going to be out of nowhere. Some of you are manifesting this archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and past opening up. This could also be a business partner for some of you. Or a business opportunity. Dragon. Beware of self-delusion though. Okay. Money path. A pathway. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. You're right there. I've been speaking about this. The parrot. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. That's okay because we just talked about this. Be a transparent. You don't have any secrets. There may be discord among family or friends that are gossiping. Some of them are very jealous of what you're doing, what you're about to get. They're not going to be to leave it. They want a piece of the pie too. If they haven't treated you right and didn't help you when you were down, you know what to do. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And therefore, you're building your nest egg and spirit's about to help fill it. That's what my grandpa calls it. It's a nest egg. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be very important. Okay? So pay attention. Between now and May is what I'm getting. And your last card. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. So some of you, there's, um, you're going to get compliments from an admirer. It might be, a lot of you, it's going to be for your work. Those of you that are single, you do have a secret admirer. You're beautiful, handsome, you're amazing. I wish you guys could see you guys the way I feel your and see your energy. Like, I feel and see energy. And when I tap into your all's energy, the ones of you that comment on here a lot and that like my stuff, um, you know, your energy is beautiful and it's a privilege. Thank you so much for allowing me to be in your energy. I hope that this reading helps you and brings you some clarity. Okay. I've already pre-pulled the oracles, so we're going to move on after I get you guys a little bit more guidance here with these little mini cards that I love so much. Spirit, however these land is what will be taken. Can I get some guidance for this reading that we just did? Abundance, peace, and courage. Move quickly. Don't stop before reaching your destination. Don't stagnate, in other words. Your opposition is going to disappear. So out of thin air, out of nowhere. Good fortune comes with change. What is being experienced inside is different from what is being reflected on the outside. So you have to know that some of you are not seeing the reflection on the outside, okay? You're not seeing the good, right? You're trying, you're making the changes internally. That's because it's on the, you know, it's being divinely orchestrated. It's about to happen. So don't give up and think it's not working, okay? It, it's for some of you, this is a spiritual test, I'm being told. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you. Watch your attitude because these people are trying to piss you off, okay? It's okay to stand up for yourself and speak your truth and things. Just don't be childish like that. Learn to say no to friends and family and work. 
when you need to rest, okay? When you need to give yourself some self-love. Do good for the sake of doing good and don't expect anything in return. I, I don't expect anything in return on the back. Okay? Do good with a faithful heart. And, uh, and, 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 you know, don't expect anything and good will come to you. Okay? Thanks again, guys, for hanging out with me. I do really appreciate each one of you. Okay, for your Alice in Wonderland cards, we have a moment's regret. Nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing that you made a mistake. Some of you may be wondering, should I have stayed with this person? Should I stay with this job? Should I have done the thing? No, you're right where you're meant to be. So, and I feel that this opposition, whoever it is that's acting against you, um, these people are looking back at the past and wishing they could have you back. Wishing that they could change the way they acted. Forget, they're definitely, Spirit said they're definitely going to if they have it. Forget who you are. Your conditioning is falling away. You're forget, you're, you know, all the conditioning, it's like it's no longer there. You're learning how to transmute energy, change your memories to more positive ones, being the parent that you need, the friend that you need. Uh, and when you do that and you enact that within, then as you heal, that's what comes out in your reality. You're not letting anyone define you, only you define you. You follow the white rabbit. You're very curious. Curious curiosity meets opportunity. So you're looking for an opportunity. You're looking for the answer. You're looking, you know, what do I need to add to this or do to this? And as the more curious you get, and the more you go out in the world and um, I'm here network, um, talk to others, be involved. You're gonna spirit's gonna place the right person in your path at the right time or the right people. Keeping up, so it's taking immense it's taking you immense admi immense effort to uh, advance, but you are advancing. Impossible things. You're working through disbelief. You're taking, you're making, you're about to, if you haven't already, you're about to make imaginative leaps and bounds, like le huge leaps. Like people will be like, how the heck did they do this? And you're going to be like, spirit, source, you're going to tell your story. You're gaining a fresh, fresh perspective. For um, your abundance angels, you need to release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Archangel Raphael cards for healing. Yes. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate... Barometer of truth. Sorry. I need, shh, don't tell anybody, but I, I need glasses. <laughs> Increased energy. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine light and love. However, I'm using healing frequencies, and they are working. Exercise is key. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me and guiding me to, exer to an exercise program that fits my schedule, interests, and budget. Or you can, like, go on YouTube and do, like, yoga and, like, it really Pilates, things like that, stretching. You don't have to like go out there and run and do things like that. It, it really will help you. Massage. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive messages, or sorry, massages and other self-care treatments. However, you can use messages and take out the self-care treatments too. Omega, victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will only block your progress. Grace and Antoinette, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. If you're watching this, yes, you. Let go. It's unlikely. Look for a sign. Ask your angels for a sign. Ask them to show you this feather or this number or whatever you choose in your reality for a sign you have big happy changes a year from now your life will be so different your healing frequencies are the calm i breathe lit i breathe live and grow light within me i do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment i cast off my doubts all fear dissipates and i find peace in my being unconditional love 
My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. Positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts so that which brings me well-being. I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. This is your soul truth message. Then we're going to do the uh, dice just because I'm working on seeing different ways to do them, okay? Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take it in your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scare, take the leap. Today's soul action. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you're really made of. A wild soul, a strong heart that can't lose. Beautiful energy. All right, let's get you guys some. These are going to be uh, astro dice with, for signs that you may be dealing with or you could be the sign. Um... This is going to be angel numbers and there's about to be a shocking surprise, an explosion, or this also looks like a gift. Uh, I feel like that's a gift, explosion for them, a gift for you. You're right on point with what you're thinking. Your calculations are correct. You're getting upgrades in your third eye. Your intuition's on point. You have um, grandparents around you guiding you at this time. They want you to speak to them, know that they can hear you. All you have to do is think about them. They're with you. So I heard somebody likes to send song messages through music. You're building your empire. Some of you will be moving to a new residence, opening a new building, opening a store. Um, there is no wrong way. You're, you're right where you're meant to be. Just follow your intuition. You're going to have a fountain of blessings is about to pour upon you. Go near water. It is very healing for you at this time. They are locked out or blocked out of coming with you on this journey. No more can they harm you, okay? Some signs you could be dealing with. I'm seeing Scorpio. Double. Double Scorpio. Virgo. Aquarius. Pisces. Lib double Libra. Okay, this could be... Those signs could stick out to you. Let me set these down here so I don't forget... Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? Your angel numbers, you could be seeing 111 or 1111, 147, 118, 39, 148, and 5. So I do see a lot of changes coming for you guys. I see a lot of new beginnings, a lot of things closing, new cycles starting. We're going to look up these angel numbers as they appear here. So um, it'll be uh, 111, 39, 147, 88, and 5. Because that's how I'm seeing them. There's a 4 here too. Hold on. 3, 4, 5, 6 is what I'm seeing. 7, 8, 9. So you're in alignment. Um... Spirit's telling me to do, um, thirty-nine, forty-five. Okay, these are what you could be seeing in reality besides the ones I just already stated, okay? 147, 111, 39, 88, or 45. This could be clarification of this reading, okay? I'm going to read you from the book what these mean. We're not going to read each one. We're just going to read them the way they are. First one being, um... 39. Let me know if you guys like these or not. I do, but I want to know if you guys do. Career. 
Make sure your job and soul align. There is a need to, for you to feel fulfilled with the work you do every day. Your angels are asking you to align your career goals with your soul contract. What job change can you make in order to do that? Revisit your resume today to see how you've grown. And for those of you that may be on disability or something like that, what hobby interests you? Where could you um, start to make that hobby a way to bring in a little extra money or how to help others, okay? What do you know? What knowledge do you have? Because it really will fulfill your soul and it really will help you, okay? Number 45. Look up. There, Things are coming together. Life can seem like many scattered pieces at present, but rest assured those pieces are very much interconnected. Look at the... Over, look at the overlap today and see where things are coming together. Several times throughout the day, repeat the, this mantra. I trust in the plan for my life. Number 88. Welcome riches. State your intention. Infinite abundance is available to you and your angels are signaling you to remember this. They want you to elevate your vibration as well as your expectations for what you can receive. Write down an intention you have for the future. State it out loud under the stars during the next new moon. We have a full moon coming up. So what do you need to release? Okay. Number 111. 111. Screenshot. Pause your, and reset your thinking. When you see 111, think of the universe as taking a screenshot of your frame of mind right now. Everything that is going on, all your thoughts, feelings, goals, and dreams is going to be replicated. Get on a high vibe quickly so you can manifest your best life moving forward. Repeat this mantra. I am in alignment with my authentic self. Number 147, our final one. Demonstrate diligence. Show the universe your appreciation. Show the universe you are respectful of your time and energy by diligently addressing the tasks ahead of you today. How you treat that what the universe gives you will provide a blueprint of, for what comes next. Repeat this mantra. I move through tasks with efficiency. Then get to work. So guys, I hope that this helped you out. Um, I know that was a little different than what I normally do. Um, but I do appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really, really do. And I hope this helps you in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Um, again, if you need a certain reading, let me or need, need some certain information, let me know below. You know, we are... We, this is our channel not just my channel um i do appreciate all of you i really do and i can't wait to do my first live here in the near future and get to know you guys even better if you have a certain issue or problem and you need help let me know i'll do a private for you i'll send you a, give me your email i'll send you a link um this is for a limited time i just feel like someone that watches my stuff may need a little guidance okay um like personal guidance i don't know spirit put that on my heart so if that's you let me know all right i love you guys until we meet again